so we guys welcome back again this is me for me you do and today in this video i have a little small program for all of you that we are we will create is simple file reading program that will take file name as argument okay so let's start this video so first of all i will going to show you the demo how actually this will look after we we'll write the code okay so head over to what whenever we do any argument taking program we just need command line okay. so i am just starting my terminal so here is our terminal we will just simply head over to our documents plus the files okay so we are um, already in our the files directory and if i just simply this list entire there will be so many of list okay. so from we just execute file file program and then we will type you need to do dot txt txt okay so you can actually see this is actually pretty a simple file reading program for all of you hit the subscribe button and like and share our video spent and help me to reach hundreds okay so this is our file programs output will be okay now head over to our dev c program we will write our program in dev c++ i know this is too old but okay this is as it a uh, simple program for all of you so just we'll creating new source file and head over to just uh, i we will write a basic c program first then we will add our feature like argument taking and then opening file file program using c and if you want to know about argument taking or file programming then there is source uh, link here in description you will learn from more from there okay so let's do our code so first we are just including our header file and then we will add in main then rdt1 button so this is our a uh, simple basic c file c programming so now we are going to save this out of c files and we'll name it as as uh radr reader set okay so now here is our include st.io and one thing uh we need one more header file that's called include stdlib dot h and one more header we need that is called include unis td dot h okay so basically what uh this header file do that it will use the slip function to uh stop the program for a certain time okay and if you want to know about more unistd.header file link will be in description so now let's add one so first of all uh as it uh we first we just said that it will be an argument taking program so we have to define our arguments so in ar pc and then char a r g v okay so that's done as our initial process now what we'll do we will need an array or character of c that we will print in the text from that to do file or any file name by character by character okay so just we need a character c as initial initialing we see as a character so see where we will store all the characters from that file in our char c okay so now we need a file pointer file star file pointer okay this is our simple file pointer now now we just printing uh, something printed there will be just as for crediting a simple file reading program by to do uh, at this line you can put anything whatever you want for your credit okay now 
what we will do uh, first we have to open our file name what we actually want to open file so now we have to just type f fptr equals to f open there will be our file name and then there will be our r okay so now what will be our file name our file name will be uh, we will take our file name from our argument so the, our file name will be whatever we will um, give as argument in our while we run our program so that will be argv1 so argv will store our file name so this will open our file uh, okay but as a condition if uh, we don't supply any arguments then we must have return errors so this function have to be true or it's if it is null that any that no file is open so we have to print errors okay so we have to just put it into our if function if if is the bracket close and now need now we need another bracket this is our end of function and then e equals to any double in null okay so at this point if our file pointer is not open and it is equals equals to null then we will return that printf slash n and we will write here uh, no file is found uh, check your file name okay so this is our simple printf function that will show the error if we do not supply any argument and then we are just closing our program so we have to just did exit function is equal one so what will be so our exit status will be one and if this success then our return will be zero now the second part of the code that is um here is our section where we just going to print our output so print plus n and then we will be output give a little fish for where your context will be printed character by character now we are using while function while one while one is always true or is well true so we are just simply basically using while one and then what we're just going to do c equals to f get c file pointer f p p r okay so in this line we are storing all the character from this file pointer that is supplied here argv1 okay so c will store all the character from our file that we are just giving as argument to our program now if c uh, reach to our end of file eof then we have to stop our program simple just like break our value else we have to just simply print m percent c then c and then here is the trick that's why uh, the all the tricks is hidden in this line okay so here we are just basically using include unistd.h for these header files there is a function that called you slip so what you slip take uh, you slip take unsigned integer millisecond so we will just put 60000 millisecond that's it okay and then at the end while our while loop is done and our all the character um, have been printed on the command line then we have to simply close our file so we have to just uh, type f close and then f p t r our file pointer okay 
this is all this yeah now we have this simply we have to just compile we have to just simply compile uh actually maybe uh as a syntax printf and we just have to simply compile and run there is also syntax mistake sorry for that okay now compile and run okay so here actually you can see a file program reading a file reading program sorry this is sorry for this mistake by to do no file is found check your file name okay because we did not provide any argument so to do this So to just again compile and run this to do this we have to head over to our terminal and we just have to clear all this and one thing i have to mention uh whatever the file you want to read you must have in the same folder okay so just simply list our that and where is our okay so here is our reader.exe so we just we are going to run that uh, slash reader.exe so now if you just simply type says reader dot cpp no is a reader and then we are just giving the argument so that is to do dot txt so reader is our program and to do is our first argument now if you just hit enter a simple file program file reading program by to do and then here hey this is okay this is too slow but it will print that things it will print our whole context because uh this is uh this is going slow process because of this because we have put 60,000 and if i just have this 60 6000 millisecond then we just have to save this and we have to just stop this i'm going to stop this at the end of control c to stop and then clear again just compile uh sorry this is we just going to have to compile okay we said compile now we're just going to run this again the 2xt and you can see this is faster than previous so thank you guys for watching this video to the end and if you like this video then please show sure, subscribe because my subscribe milestone is 100 and share it to your friends okay and the source code will be provided in my github link check in the description thank you for watching hope we will meet in our next video